Oh gosh. Oh gosh. There's a bug in here. Oh gosh. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh no. I don't know where it went. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. You may have noticed before all the chaos happened with my dad's van that there was something that he brought to me that I kind of opened up the box and was like, ooh, ooh, I'm gonna share that a little bit later. And it's something that I'm gonna be putting in the van that's gonna go up in my roof box that's gonna help me along the way. But now that I am back at my base camp, I'm gonna go ahead and test it out to make sure I know how to use it so that I'm not completely confused whenever I take it out on the road. Now this is gonna be super handy for a lot of reasons. Let me just show you. I hear it. Where did you go, little bug? Oh no. Well, since that happened, I guess I'm gonna be doing this outside. I was planning on staying in the van because I was gonna to try to figure out how I was planning on storing this inside, but now there's this gargantuan bug. So that's not gonna happen now. We are day, but it's okay because I'm probably gonna to have to take this inside to charge it up anyway. But today we're gonna to be looking at this brand new handheld mini electric chainsaw. Along the way, I have tried to make a campfire about 7 million different ways, and I have failed about 7 million different ways. Either I have purchased firewood that was damp and it's made it very smoky, or I have had things that are around, but they're too big so I can't use them. And it's just been complicated for absolutely no reason. So I was really, really interested in finding a way that I could possibly cut down some of this wood. And I've tried a lot of things. Most recently, I've tried this. Uh, this guy right here. This this guy in this little case right here. This little tiny hatchet, which as you can see is just as hard to get out of the case as it is to use. It doesn't do very well. And so while I've been trying to use this, I have failed at using this almost every single time, unless it's just to cut up little tiny, like fire starting kindling. So since I failed so many times, a company actually, I guess, watched one of my videos where they noticed that I failed and they were just like, hey, um, that's not gonna work on those bigger pieces of tree. And I agree, it did not work. And in fact, I tried it, Dee tried it, Shanine tried it. And in the video that they'd mentioned, none of us were successful and we ended up just giving up on the fire. So I was very excited when the same company was like, hey, we have something that might be a bit more efficient and if you like it, you can share it on your channel. So I decided just for full disclosure, I am going to share this entire journey with you to let you guys know what it looks like, what it is, and if it works out for me or not. And if it does work out, then maybe I'll be able to be a bit more successful with fires. Because let's face it, in the past, I have always kind of been discouraged from making fire because of the firewood situation. In some areas, I simply just can't find good firewood. In others, I find firewood in the wild that's just way too big. So, with that said, let's look to see what's inside. That, that's the sound of the lawnmower. Just, just go with me on this. Just, just go with me. So, with that said, I think that this is gonna make it a lot easier. And if I am at my tiny home, I can use it. And if I am on the road, I can use it. And this will give me something that's a sizable option for me because large things like huge chainsaws don't make sense in a small space, nor do they make sense for me to use them because they just feel like I'm just flopping around. So this is supposed to be a much more manageable size. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go inside so we can talk a little bit more about it, but yeah. This is gonna be good. I think I've already figured out where I can store it in my roof box. That's why I was out here in the first place. And so now that I've kind of figured out the size and everything. <laughs> Today is not my day, I will say that. Um, I had the bug that got into the van and then the wind, because it was getting so windy, slammed the door on my hand. So today is a challenge. So I feel as though this saw has already been through it, even before it comes out of the package. Whenever my dad brought it up to me, of course my dad's vehicle stopped working and then we had to come immediately back to Texas and that was challenge number one. Bug was challenge number two. Well, actually there was another challenge in there somewhere where it rained one day, whenever I was gonna open this up and try it out. And so, ooh, 
I am determined that this is going to be something I can put in my van though. I am. And because of that, this is just one of the most disjointed random unboxings I've ever done. But it's okay. I appreciate that this company has reached out to me and given me the grace to try it out and if I like it or don't, share it with you. So with that said, let's see what's in the box. Here it is. This is the Tommy Vic 6 inch mini electric chainsaw and it comes in this nice carrying case which is perfect for the road. It will accommodate not only ooh, the chainsaw but apparently a lot of other goodies in here as well. It has our book which I will make sure that I go through in just a bit. I have some work gloves, which are perfect because if I am trying to remove a log or something like that from the roadway, I don't necessarily need to be touching those splinters with my hands, so they've included this. It also has some various tools to use with this, as well as an additional chain that comes with it. I have some safety glasses here, and then I'm assuming this is for lubrication for the chainsaw. I then have the chainsaw itself, which is a nice size. I'll be getting that out in just a moment. And then another tool. This is a Phillips head screwdriver. And then I have a battery, I believe. This may have two batteries. It looks like this is the base, maybe. This looks as though, yes indeed, two separate batteries. So this is gonna be super cool. I can keep both of these charged up so I can complete lots of tasks. So now let's see what's in here. In that little white box is in fact the charging cord. So this charging cord right here, I'm assuming fits into this little piece right here to charge. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these in and then I'm gonna untangle the wire and plug it in and see if we can't get these charged up. Right away, I have it on the charger. I do not see any lights or anything like that to indicate it is charging or fully charged or not charged at all. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the saw out and it's just, everything's wrapped in plastic because it's brand new. So that's actually quite smart. This is a much more like attainable size for me to actually use. This seems as though it would be more like the hatchet, and again, hatchet motion, but with this, it would be easier for me to use for things because it's not so big that I need to hold it like most chainsaws where you have to like really get into it or it takes up a lot of room. So this is a definite plus for me. Now I am gonna try something real quick. I think I can just go ahead and slide this battery into the bottom and I'm kind of nervous. I don't, I don't know. This is the part that makes me kind of scared. Let's see. Power share. Ooh, okay. So it has a button on the side and then a trigger. That is actually really good because whenever the battery is detached, it's in safety mode, so to speak. Whenever you're ready to use it, you have to both push this button and this trigger. Very cool. And then it has this safety guard on the top, which I'm going to take the battery off and then show that it doesn't work unless the battery's on there. So then I can move the safety guard and show you what the blade looks like. Okay, so this is the six inch blade. It's a very nice size blade, uh, very easy on the hand. The grip feels good. I have smaller hands, so the grip is very nice for my tiny little hands. And so this is going to work out pretty well for me, I think. Okay, some time has passed. I have gotten everything charged up. So today we're going to get out the Tommy Vic and we are going to cut down a limb to test this out to see if this is going to work for me on the road. Okay, it comes with everything for protective gear. So I already have my gloves and then my safety goggles and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one of the gloves on. Then I'm going to connect my battery to make this a little easier for myself. So it just slides in, pops into place. That's ready to go now. Now it's time for the other glove. I'm really happy that they included all this because otherwise I would have had to gone and rounded it all up. And I probably could have found most of these kinds of items at the Dollar Tree, but now I don't have to. So I'm gonna take this guy and I have a little limb over here. So let's go over there. Okay, in order to use this, I push this button on the side and pull the trigger so it's... Okay, and this is the branch that I'm gonna be cutting down today. So I think what I'm gonna do is go from this side and create a little bit of a notch in it and then I'll take it down from the top. That way it just cuts a little more evenly. We'll see. Woo, Woo 
I definitely see why we need the goggles. It flies everywhere, especially when you're cutting above your head. So now I'm gonna go in from the top and go down. Here we go. Okay, it's almost there. a lot but we did it okay so now that I got this out of the way if this was something that I wanted to use I could cut it down further with this but for here I think what I'm gonna do is set this down and then pull it out of the way because this is my yard and I don't really need it for firewood after using it dad's showing me how to tighten everything up and he gave me some tips for next time so I am excited about this I'm very excited about this He's using the tools, showing me exactly how to tighten it. There's a little screw in here that I can go on. And he said to make it tight, but not so tight that it's too tight. And that you can physically feel the difference and be able to pull the chain away also if it's too loose. So yeah, pretty handy that everything is included in here. Woo! going to give me a tip as to cutting a little bit more so I can cut more safely because it was kind of I think it was the angle that I was cutting at I was kind of jerking around a little bit so he's going to show me how to stabilize and so I'm going to share that with you guys too because you might need to stabilize mm -hmm. that was much more efficient than what I did okay so I need to stabilize on this little piece kind of push it up against it and use that so that it doesn't move me, I move it. Okay, so after all that, see a lot of debris came off the tree and stuff because I was cutting ahead of me instead of below. And so it's kind of kind of scratchy, but if I wouldn't have had these, it definitely would have been a problem. So definitely wear the safety stuff. Is this a good thing for van life? I think so. It's small, it's compact, it'll fit into the top of my van very easily. And I can cut up firewood. So if I already see things that are downed, kind of like this branch over here, I can cut them up and then I can use them in my fire as opposed to having a giant tree that I then have to figure out how to make work and make it a little bit more dangerous actually. So I think this is gonna work out. This is definitely going in the roof box and well, maybe, maybe soon, maybe soon we'll be able to have a good old campfire with Riley and Dee. We'll see. Remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. I'm excited, I'm very excited. <laughs>